Hi guys, if you're wondering how I got my hair to like this, with Arabella closure, Jerry Curl wig. Stay tuned watching this video. And yeah, learn how to get your hair like this. And for the direct link, is down below in the description. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the video. Shawty look so fine like that. Cooler with my baby, let's spend time like that. Everybody know that me and my heart like that. Staying down for my baby, I won't lie to you. Always don't. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is OG Ghana, aka Baby Girl OG. And today I am going to do a closure wig install on Arabella hair. Um, this is not sponsored at all. This is actually my first time even using it here. My first time, you know, even doing anything with this company. So let's see how this turned out. And this is my first time using a closure wig. I've never used them before. I always like the frontals and all that. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so this is what the hair came in. It's a FedEx package and I didn't want to turn it the other way because I didn't want y'all to see my address. So it's, let me open it real quick. It's my first time opening it. Never looked at the hair or nothing. Okay, so this is how it comes. Oh, wait, it's upside down. The box was ripped, but I can't even complain because it was in this. So, I mean, so beat it. But you know, I feel like they upgrade your boxes a little more. But it's cute box, cute color. Y'all see it? Here it goes. Oh, look. Oh, I ain't never had this many goodies up in the uh, hair bag. So obviously it comes with some lashes. Can y'all see them? It comes with like a little goodie bag. This is too cute. And it's purple. Hold on. Let me open it. It comes with, I mean, it comes with a wig cap. Okay, so before I even start this video, I did not have a wig cap. So I'm glad it came with one headband. I'm so glad because, oh, I'm so happy I got some gifts. I ain't never got no gifts in the hair thing. All I got was like lashes and then a wig cap. I want more. More clips. Y'all better shop shop at Arabella because the gifts is good. They they giving you good gifts and they're affordable. Who who you know has an edge brush in a hair bag? I wait. So that's all that comes in this little pouch and it's so pretty. I see the inside. So cute. It's a nice little travel bag. So oh, that's good. Here go the wig. It comes in a nice nice durable bag 32 inch jerry curl wig i believe yes it's the 32 inch jerry curl wig and i think i only paid 200 200 maybe 56 dollars for this wig which is a good price because any of y'all know that wigs that's over 24 inches a leg it charges a leg and an arm for it so good price i'll leave a link below and everything for the direct link so yeah, y'all could go check it out below. Say it is a closure wig. Pretty good dog. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. What am I gonna do with all this hair? Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, this is cute. Wait, hold, hold your horses. This is too cute. Oh my gosh, and it's thick. It ain't thin. I know y'all. Do y'all see this? I'm running my fingers good through it. Like, let me see. Shed and wear. Wait, hold on. Well, it kind of snapped a little bit. Y'all see it? It kind of snapped some, but not too much, so. I mean, it's not bad. 32 inches. Curly, jerry curl. Oh, and it comes with a bed. Y'all. Y'all. Let, let, let me slide the let me slide the wig on real quick to see how it look. Hold on. Look right, right there. City girl make a wish like Ray J. Okay. <laughs> y'all, this is oh. <laughs> y'all, this wig is so cute. Okay, let me take it out. Let me take it out. If y'all, if y'all sleeping on this, don't because honey, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh my gosh. It don't stink either. It don't stink. Arabella. Honey, y'all y'all might have some real, real good hair. Real like high quality. 10 out of 10. Oh my god. Okay, look at and the ends not even thin either. Like they full. 
ahead and put the wig on this head right here. Okay, y'all, so it already comes with a part, and the part is actually good because honestly, I don't know how to pluck. So I'm glad that it already came with a part. And actually, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it as a middle part either because I'm not a middle part type girl. I like my side parts. So we'll have to see. But oh y'all, look, look at the length of it. Okay, y'all. So here go the length on the mannequin. And let me put it. Okay, so this we're about the same size now, kind of sort of head wise. So it's about stomach, lower stomach waist. And this is 32 inches, y'all remember. So it's very long. Just the oh the curls, they are giving like this is life right here. Like, so yeah, that's how it looks. Okay, y'all. So after I showed y'all the wig and how long it actually is, I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots because the knots are black. Y'all see, I'm trying to get up close. Like they are black, black. So we do not want that because. We don't want to give cheap wig. We want to give scalp. So we're going to go ahead and bleach the knots. And I'm going to show y'all the products I have. Okay, y'all. So I actually just went to Sally's Beauty this morning and picked up some stuff. So first I have like the little, you know, the applicator brush. On me. I think I already have one here, but I ain't like looking for them. Then I have the Quick Blue by L'Oreal Technique. So I have this. Ooh, there we go. The Quick Blue. Then I have the 20 developer. You, I think usually I get 30. I can't remember. I think last time I got 20. I don't remember. But I was going to open to 30. But I was like, let me just go get 20 so I don't mess up nothing. And this is by Iron. I'll show y'all the process and the mixture of kind of how I do it. And let's get the bleach knees not. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all some of it. But then I'm just going to do a voiceover. So because it ain't no point of me talking and y'all can't see me. Okay, y'all, so as y'all can see, I'm moving the camera down so y'all can get a better look at it. But I am about to use the clear blue developing powder. Okay, so when it comes down to the developer pow powder, I do not want to pour too much and I don't want to pour too little. So I pour enough to where if it's too much, that's fine. I could just waste it. And if it's not too much, I can add more. Okay, so as y'all can see, I only pour enough to fill the bottom of the bowl. That's it. Not too much, not too less. So that's about the amount you need if you use a bowl that size. And then I'm about to use that 20 developer. And I'm just going to pour maybe half. Half of what it is in there. Not too much, not too little of that. See, just watch it. See, I only poured a little. Then I'm going to mix that so I can see the consistency. And then if it needs to be more, I will add more. And if it doesn't. Okay, so right here is where I'm mixing that little bit of developer that I did pour in there. So, as you can see, it's a little clumpy still. So, I will be adding more in there a little later. You see, it's still clumpy. So, we do not want it like that. We need a little more liquidy. So, I add a little more. I kind of added a little too much, but it was fine. I made it work. Okay, so, as I was mixing, you see it's a little runny still. And we do not want it runny. So... Well, it's a little thick right there, but it's runny though. You get what I'm saying? Like, we do not want it to just easily fall off the brush. So then I'm going to go back in with that clear blue powder develop. And I'm going to add just a little bit more. Not too much, but just a little bit. As y'all can see. And I'm going to mix that back in. So then it could kind of make it thicker. Because we do want it thick. Because if it's too runny, then it will seep through the closure and you'll have bleach knots plus bleached hair and we do not want that so as i'm mixing you see it's getting thicker look at that perfect that's the good consistency that we want we want it thick to where it's barely falling off okay y'all so it's around 11 40 and i just put on the developer y'all see it I got it a little everywhere, but I'll see it on that side. So I'll put it down some aluminum foil and then just watch it. So I'm gonna do that and then here it go, fully covered, not too runny, not too thick. So pretty good. And like I said, it's about 11:40. I'll probably take it off about 20 minutes, about 12 o'clock. I'll take it off. And so now that I'm back with the aluminum foil. 
Okay, y'all, so I guess while I'm waiting, I could be productive and do something. So I'll go ahead and start on my braid down. And then by the time that's done, because I'll take a little minute, I'll just go ahead and rinse that off and all that. So with my braid down, since I have 4C hair and it's blow dry right now, that's why I don't look 4C, but it's 4C. I have my wide tooth comb. So we'll go ahead and comb that out. Crunching apples, I'll tell y'all. Okay, and I want to do a side part, but not for sure how that's going to turn out. So I may. Yeah. Wait, let me let me look real quick. Come on, cause I may do a middle part. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a side part girl, so I'm gonna do a side part because. And if it don't work out, I'll just switch it over to a middle part. And y'all will not see this clip. Oh man, I'll make sure it's well done. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed this part up because I'm not gonna wanna watch me break my hair. This is not a tutorial on how to break hair. Come back whenever I'm finished. Yeah, I'm so much close to being up. But next time, remind me, remind me to get somebody else to do my hair. Even though this very ugly, I don't care though. But it's it's flat enough, so that's all that matters. But next time, remind me to get somebody, pay somebody to do my hair, like the braid it. Cause I don't know if y'all can see my fingers. I'm gonna have to do about 12, 12 to 20, because those knots are still black. Okay, y'all, so now I'm done braiding my hair. I'm not gonna show y'all because it looks good. But it's braided, so that's all that matters. So then I'm gonna go in, since I'm probably gonna have this wig on for a minute because who about to do the hair? Not me. So I'm going in with the 99% Natural Tea Tree by B Field. Go on the edges. Okay, so it's past 20 minutes. I said it's 12 or 4 now. I mean, some of it is bleached, yes. Like, some of the hair got bleached, the ones that's been sitting in the bleach. That's nothing to pluck out. I mean, so it's almost there. So, probably about 12 20, I'll check back, or maybe 12 15. 12 15 is about a decent amount. This is 20 developer, and then you know, that kind of works a little slow. Okay, y'all, so I'm very impatient. So, we're gonna assume it's done. Y'all see. I mean, it looks about that. I don't want to over bleach it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the hair in the suit. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out. I have my one of my favorite shampoos. It's very smooth, and it's a shampoo. But let me tell you, it's a two-in-one. You do not need conditioner. I'm telling you, you do not. So this is the moisturizing shampoo by Eddie's Hair and Skin Care. It is included with mango and sunflower seeds, and I have this linked below. So we're gonna start washing. We're gonna turn a little like hot medium water. Okay, so now that we got it all washed out, you know, cleaned and all that, and actually, this was probably one of the cleanest wigs I have ever used. I used almost three different hair companies, and this probably is the cleanest because the other ones, water brown, water yellow, water got stuff coming out, but this is the cleanest one. This is about all the shedding I have got while washing, and usually people, I see people with balls up here. This is 
regular hair like after you take a braid down there from your natural hair did not smell so i feel like this is a good this is a good deal for a good price and a good wig so i'm gonna blow dry the inside so it could dry some and then i'll put it on my head and then we'll get into the install part okay so now i'm done with the rebraid i'm gonna retake some gel from eddie's hair and skin care this is the gel pomade i barely got some edges on this side but we ain't gonna talk about it we're gonna re put back on this wig and see how it looks so y'all see that little baby part that's it now now but since we do have this little baby part i just gonna have to pluck it so after i'm done plucking i'm gonna retake the wig and put it back on part has as y'all can tell got extended because nobody want that baby part we are about to do the application part we're gonna take this and then just squeeze some of it on there you do not want your cap orange and people with orange laces uh, take it and we're gonna let me go ahead and put this back on mm. okay so now we just gonna lift this part up and get ready to glue it down so I'm gonna take some alcohol, rub this part clean. Okay, so we are about to take my ghost by. So we gonna. Okay. Just take the back of this and then just go with it downwards. So get this like a little second. with a shot of gas to be not too much and then we'll go over with our last thing of glue so last layer on and actually if y'all want to get this necklace right here i sell these on my shop for obsession.shop and i think i sell these for like 30 dollars maybe real inexpensive real good material i shower work sports go shopping run rain snow sleep it holds up i even sleep in these so yeah go get these very pretty okay so we're ready i'm gonna take this little nappy brush and brush it back okay so what we're gonna do now is the wrap that they provided us it's silk i think okay i'm just gonna go ahead a little bit okay so now it's wrapped i'll be back in about 20 minutes to cut the lace and um and yeah okay y'all i'm gonna go ahead and actually cut the lace i got my eraser y'all see it you get these from the hair stove anymore really Okay, so now that I'm back in my combo, I'm gonna put some alcohol on just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so again, thank you to Arabella for this beautiful hair. It was nice and not sponsored, and I am about to do my own money. And an honest review about this hair 10 times out of 10. Maybe, maybe 12, 12 out of 10. Like, can y'all see? Arabella, you did this. The direct link for this hair will be down below. And I'm gonna give y'all a like a turnaround of it. So y'all can see the whole thing. But this closure wig is amazing. And I love it so much. I, I've like never had curly hair now. <laughs> curly hair is all I want. So curls. Ooh. Okay, so let me give y'all a turnaround. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it like I did. Should give it a big thumbs up, like it, and comment something down below. Comment if you like this hair or what's your favorite texture right here. Let's do that. And then make sure you subscribe. Go shop this hair, it's Black Friday. They have awesome sales. And who don't wanna be cheap? Cause I know I do. So yeah, go shop this hair. This is not sponsored. These were all honest opinions and statements about the hair, so. Go shop this hair and I'll leave the link down below. So yeah, 
see you in my next video.